gastrin, secretin, and CCK have functions that are not related to digestion. Both gastrin and CCK are growth factors, meaning they can stimulate growth for the maintenance of healthy tissues. Gastrin can induce growth of healthy mucosal cells of the stomach, and CCK can induce growth of healthy cells in the liver and pancreas. This is done as a protective measure to ensure adequate healthy tissue is available in digestive organs to perform digestive functions. However, this is also how gastrin and CCK have been linked to cancer. CCK has two receptors, the CCK1 receptor and the CCK2 receptor. The CCK2 receptor and the gastrin receptor are identical, meaning gastrin and CCK can both bind to the CCK2 receptor. Since gastrin and CCK are growth factors, a cancerous tissue in the body that expresses the CCK2 receptor can bind both gastrin and CCK and induce growth of the cancerous tissue. This includes cancers found outside the gastrointestinal tract. One reason for this is because the CCK2 receptor can normally be found on many tissues, including the brain. The brain can produce CCK and can express CCK receptors. Both gastrin and CCK can influence the immune system on cells of the immune system expressing the CCK2 receptor. While these are normal, healthy functions of gastrin and CCK, cancer can result from improper CCK and gastrin signaling in these tissues. Similarly, secretin also has functions that are not related to digestion. Secretin has been linked to contractility in the heart and regulatory effects on water homeostasis in the kidneys. Therefore, in understanding the important role gastrin and CCK play in digestion, it is also important to understand these hormones are active outside of digestion and must be closely regulated to protect from disease. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel.